Want to get verified on Instagram? Now's your chance. In early 2023, Meta, which is of course the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, rolled out their new platform, Meta Verified. But at the time, Meta Verified was only available to individual humans. Brands, businesses, pet profiles, groups, or community pages could not be a part of Meta Verified. That is until September 20th, 2023, when Meta announced that they are rolling out Meta Verified to all brands and businesses. First and foremost, let's go over what is included in Meta Verified because it's more than just the blue check. And this is what has been included for individuals who were a part of Meta Verified. And this is what also will be included for businesses, which are now going to be able to apply and be verified as well. There are four main benefits that are a part of Meta Verified. First and foremost is what everyone is familiar with, which is the blue verification badge. And of course, to many people, the blue verification badge is just a superficial icon that is ultimately meaningless, but also to a lot of consumers out there, the blue verification badge proves that you are a legitimate business and even that you are a newsworthy or noteworthy figure. So as much as some people may poo-poo the verification badge and as much as some people may say that its value is going to be diluted with all these people who are purchasing it, ultimately, it still carries some weight. The second benefit that is included a part of meta verification is increased account security, basically better protection against hacks and having your account taken down or stolen. The third benefit that is offered as a part of meta verification is increased impersonation protection. This is another awesome benefit that's being offered because especially if you're someone who has has built any amount of following on Instagram, you know that the spammers, the bots, and the hackers are quick to impersonate you, especially if you're in some sort of a business or financial related niche. There are so many impersonator accounts. And when you have that blue check mark, first and foremost, it's very easy for your followers to say, hey, this is the Brock 11 Johnson with the blue check. This is the Brock 11 Johnson underscore without the blue check. The one with the blue check is the one who is trustworthy and verified to be real. But also on top of that, Meta will be actively searching out for impersonator accounts and will be removing accounts that are impersonating verified profiles. The fourth and final benefit is another really awesome benefit that is offered by Meta as a part of their verification program, which is that you are going to be able to have a direct line of communication, a chat with a real human being who works for the support department department at Meta. This, as far as I'm concerned, is the only reliable way to get in touch with someone who works at Facebook or Instagram. Unless you know somebody or you have a friend of a friend of a friend or you have some personal contact at Meta, they're really, really hard to get a hold of. And this could be for something small like a glitch that's happening on your profile, or this could be for something massive like an impersonator or a hack that's ongoing. But regardless, the ability to be able to reach out to Meta staff is so invaluable. Those are the four listed benefits of Meta Verified. Of course, there are other non-listed benefits, benefits that aren't necessarily directly provided by Meta, such as some people report that their engagement goes up when they have that verification badge. The thought here is that basically when you have that blue check mark next to your profile, people think you're more official and then they're more likely to engage with your post. That isn't necessarily conclusive and we don't have a ton of data that suggests that it either is beneficial or isn't beneficial, but those four main benefits that I just listed are guaranteed as a part of Meta Verified. With that being said, let's talk about how do you qualify, how do you apply, and how do you actually get Meta Verified? Now, if you're an individual who wants to be verified as a part of Meta Verified, you have to live in one of the countries that I have previously stated. You have to have your full name in either your username or your Instagram name. It does not have to be in both, but it has to be in one or the other. For example, if you look at my Instagram, my handle is Brock11Johnson, my username. Brock 11 Johnson. So, so it has my first and last name in my username. Thus, I don't need to have it repeated in my Instagram name. My Instagram name is that bold text that's right below my profile picture that says Instagram growth coach. So criteria number one, you need to have your legal first and last name in either your username or your Instagram name. The second criteria, and this is specifically for individuals who want to be meta verified, is that you need to have your face somewhere in your profile picture and actually somewhere clearly visible in your profile picture. Additionally, as always, you can't violate Instagram's community guidelines or else you won't qualify for meta verified. Your account must be older than 120 days, so as long as you haven't recently started a new account, you should be fine. And finally, you have to have two-factor authentication enabled. So while we don't exactly have a full list of criteria yet from Instagram for business profiles, we can assume that those final three points are going to remain the same. You can't violate Instagram's community guidelines. Your business profile needs to be more than 120 days old, and you need to have two-factor authentication turned on. 
most likely criteria number one and number two are what are going to change. So if you want to have your business verified or your brand, your company, your organization, your nonprofit verified on Instagram, my assumption is that you're going to have to have your legal business name somewhere in either your username or your Instagram name. I don't think they're going to care very much about logos or what your profile picture is, whether your profile picture is a picture of your face or your brand's logo. I don't think that's going to make a real difference. I think primarily what Instagram is going to be looking for is that your business's legal name, whatever registered name your business is, is listed somewhere on the profile. Now, in order to actually apply and get meta verified as an individual, you needed to submit a government ID in addition to paying the monthly fee. The monthly fee for individuals was $25 per month, and you had to submit basically a picture of your driver's license or your passport in order to prove that you were, in fact, who you said you were, and you were a real person, and then they could verify you as an individual. And that's why, really, individual humans were the only people who could be meta-verified. Dogs don't have driver's licenses, and businesses don't have photo IDs with a first and last name on it. But depending on your country, you most likely had to register your business with some sort of government agency. Maybe you have an LLC, maybe you have an EIN number, maybe you had to register with some certain tax board to prove that your business was legitimate. That's most likely what Meta is going to be looking for in order to verify that your business is in fact a real business and it is the business that you say you are. One of the really cool things that Meta has done with Meta Verified is rather than just having us all sit back, wait, cross our fingers and hope that we get access to Meta Verified, you can actually apply to join the waitlist. Now the link to join the waitlist is rather long, so I We'll put it down in the description below this podcast that you can click and apply. Once you're on there, you can either select whether you will be applying through Instagram or through Facebook. Then you just tap that button and it's very, very simple. It takes only a few seconds to apply to join the wait list. Then once you join the waitlist, you can just sit back and of course wait and Meta will reach out to you on the platform you chose, again, either Instagram or Facebook, once you are eligible and ready to actually apply for Meta Verified. Which again, I just wanna make sure we're clear that joining the waitlist is different than actually applying and getting Meta Verified. First, we join the waitlist. Then once the application is available, we can apply. And then once we apply, usually Instagram will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours, whether or not your verification was approved. If your verification is approved, then the monthly billing will begin and you will be charged $25 per month per verified account in order to be a part of Meta Verified and get all of the benefits that I previously listed. With all of this being said, I do have a few thoughts around Meta Verified and whether or not I think it's necessary for you and your business, whether or not I think it's a good idea. Of course, ultimately, you can make whatever decision you want. You can choose to do with your money whatever you please, but I do want to share my own opinion and my own two cents to give you some things to think about. Number one, first and foremost, I wish these benefits were offered to all users. I wish everyone could chat with Instagram support. I understand why technologically we can't have that ability. I mean, there's 2 billion users on Instagram. If we all could chat with support on a platform that we're using for free, who would be paying for this support? Would Instagram be paying them based off of the money that they're making from ads? And how does that change their bottom line when ultimately all of their quote unquote customers, the 2 billion of us are using Instagram for quote unquote free. So again, I wish these features were available to everyone. I understand more or less why they're not, but I still wish they were. Personally, I am verified on Instagram. I'm not technically meta verified because I was verified before this program was rolled out. I was actually verified back in 2020 and sidebar, it has nothing to do with my marketing background. It has nothing to do with my Instagram growth. I was verified because I played college football and back in 2020, Instagram was throwing out blue checks willy nilly to anyone who played college sports. So that's when I got verified. But if I wasn't verified and I had a personal brand, a business, anything on Instagram that was verifiable, I would pay because in my opinion, it's worth it. In my opinion, the blue check alone is worth it for the credibility and notoriety sake. But all of those additional benefits, being able to talk to support, having increased account protection and impersonation protection, all of that to me is worth the $25 per month monthly fee. Also, again, I am not an accountant and this is not tax advice, but personally, I will be using that monthly fee as a tax write-off because ultimately that is a business expense. 
I don't think you need Meta Verified, but I do think that businesses, individuals, brands, influencers, creators, whoever you are, however you describe yourself, ultimately, if you do have that blue check next to your name, if nothing else, it tells your followers or your potential followers that you're taking Instagram seriously, that you are a verified legitimate person, and that you care enough about Instagram, this community, your following, however you describe them, in order to invest a monthly fee to protect all of it. And so while over time, the clout, the social currency of the blue check mark, it will fade, it will diminish, it will become diluted as more and more tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people buy the blue check. Ultimately, yes, its value will decline. But I don't think it will ever totally go to zero. I do think that there is still, at least in 2023 and as we enter into 2024, there is still some value in the blue check, even if it's a superficial value. Even if you and I individually know what the blue check mark means and we know that people have paid for it, it does subconsciously hold some weight. And so again, in order to join the waitlist, you can click the link down in the description below this video. Of course, in no way was this sponsored. I wish Meta would sponsor us because that would be flipping awesome. Meta, if you're watching this, if any of Meta staff is watching this, I'd love for you to sponsor this podcast. But really, this podcast was just meant to be some reporting from me to you about how do you apply, how do you qualify, how do you get Meta verified, what the heck even is it, and then my own two cents about whether or not you should. Thank you so much for listening today. And let me know down in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube, are you going to apply? If you're an individual person, have you already applied? Have you experienced any changes within your profile now that you're a part of MetaVerified? Let me know about your experience down in the comments below. And thank you so much for listening today.